I think what the public don't realise, and perhaps what some of these gamers won't realise, is that the simulator for us is our replacement because we don't get to do enough testing. So it's not really about developing the driver, it's about developing the car, and we kind of rely on the driver being fully developed. It's all about supporting us from before the event and then during the event and sort of trying to track the changes we're making and sometimes be ahead of the changes we're making such that when we've got a problem at the track they're already there providing solutions. The toughest part of being a simulator driver is um, just the hours that you have to put in in terms of be, trying to be consistent over so many runs. You know, for a race support, you're in there for eight hours, you know, whatever. You've yeah. got to do consistent runs. You've got to do quick runs because we need feedback at the track. But and you're also doing that in a room with no lateral light. When I worked in the simulator, you get that feeling where you've been to the cinema in the afternoon and you come out and you're kind of blinded by the daylight. <laughs> it feels a bit confusing that it's still light outside. Not only that, but they've got to put up with a bunch of engineers for the entire day, so that's always pretty stressful. Yeah. Pedro told me when he, when he started in the simulator, Pedro De La Rosa, and bear in mind, he's like an ex-Formula One driver at this point. I know, I know him well. He started <laughs> in the McLaren simulator, and he did two runs, and he said, oh, excuse me, I need to go to the toilet, got out, was sick everywhere, <laughs> snuck, snuck back in, didn't tell anyone because this is McLaren, he didn't want him to let on that there might be a problem, got back in the simulator, five more runs, had to go to the toilet again for the same thing, still kept quiet about it. The first time we told anyone, he'd already been McLaren simulator driver and test driver for three or four years by the time he owned up to yeah. getting sick. I mean, someone like Lando, the preparation that we did with him in the simulator was invaluable for him because he knew what the, all the switches on the steering wheel were going to do, we could show him what the dash was going to do, we could practice certain manoeuvres and certain switches, and the, the, the role of the simulator for developing an engineer from the simulator driver into a race car driver I think is just invaluable. Yeah, if someone is going to come out of a computer gaming background and support us from the factory on Friday, then uh, they need to have a good understanding of, uh, of the sort of feedback that racing drivers give. I think the most rewarding part is over at Race Weekend, when they're doing a load of setup changes, when we are listening to their feedback, applying some of the changes that, that they've made and making the car better, and when they hear the positivity in the drivers about the changes they've made, making it quicker, that must be quite a buzz to know that you've helped make Fernando and Stoffel quicker over a Race Weekend. Yeah.